I'm going to be showing you a technique that was first introduced to our community by artist Nassim1236. It's a straightforward technique, but it can produce stunning results. It does require a photo editor and some form of 3D graphics software. Now I'll be using Blender because it's free. First, you're going to find an image that you like and you're allowed to use. Bring that into your photo editor and remove all but the subject, so that way you leave it on a transparent background. Be sure to export it as a PNG and put it in its own folder. Next, head over to Blender. Delete everything from the default scene. Go to Add, Mesh, Plane. After that, go to the tabs at the top and click Shading. Make sure your object's selected and hit New, and this will give you the nodes you need. Go to Add, Texture, Image Texture. Place that down. On that one, you're going to hit Open and navigate to the image file we just created. Connect Color to Base Color, and you'll see your image appear. I'm going to recommend you turn Specular all the way down and Roughness all the way up. This will prevent it from being too shiny in Flowscape. Go ahead and export it to the same folder as a Wavefront OBJ. You should see an MTL, an OBJ, and your image texture. In Flowscape, we can go to the menu, Import, Mesh. Keep in mind, your object is completely flat and invisible from behind, so you may have to rotate it around before you're able to see it. Once it's in the scene, it casts shadows and it responds to light like any other object. Now once you know it's working, you can build your scene around it or import it into a scene you already have built. You can use the same technique, but instead of an image, just use text on transparent background. To show off how powerful this technique can be, here's a collection of work from Nassim1236.